to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free We have now arrived to the Grand Cayman Islands This as we said before, is the lifestyle of the rich and famous. We are not rich, nor are we famous, but here we are. I'm your host, Brian, and Michelle is still getting ready. She'll be with us sometime today later. I would say, all joking aside, but I'm not joking. Anyway, here we are. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody. Slow it down, put yourself at ease. Time to live it live. Get away from the do and do Get away, don't let it close. You kind of got to pick and choose what you want to do because you only have so much time. There's excursions you can go on, or you can get on a, a taxi. Now, the taxi is not a bad idea sometimes because that's what they do. That's their gig here is to take tourists around, and they give you some history sometimes. It depends on who you get. I'm really surprised how good that salmon is with the uh, cream it's cheese. cream cheese. I've never mm -hmm. had it that way before, but now it's like a can. That don't look like pie, honey. What is that? Pound cake with chocolate. Thank you. Deck for me, too, if you can go right now. Okay. All right, thank you. Hello, ready to go? Oh, it goes to five. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much. Grand Cayman is the largest of the three Cayman Islands and the location of the territory's capital, Georgetown. Grand Cayman encompasses 76% of the territory's entire landmass. The island is approximately 22 miles long, with its widest point being 8 miles wide. The elevation ranges from sea level at the beaches to 60 feet above sea level on the north side's Mastic Trail. Unlike many other Caribbean islands, Grand Cayman is for the most part flat. This allows for more space to build as the island's population grows. Do you get out at each of those no, places? We, we, that's a, people living into that, so oh, we, okay. get a, we get out here, uh -huh. here, and here. Okay. For, for how long? Uh, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here, and like 20 minutes here. To see okay. the and what about the turtle center? And then the, the turtle is just opposite. If you want to go there, it's better you go there first than to go to the dolphin. Since you got to pay to see these, uh -huh. I, would, I would go there first, and then I come back over and get it. But how long dolphin. do you get to stay at the turtle center then? Well, well you, you'll have your 20 minutes to half an hour if once okay. you go in to see the turtles. So the taxi waits there? Yes, sir. Oh. Taxi can't leave you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's what came in. Two older ladies in here were so nice. They, we asked them just about their dollar, and she said it's Cayman dollars. They started giving us their own cash just so that we could have it. But it was so nice. I tried to give her the money for it in U.S. dollars, and they would not accept it. Yeah. So what they're doing here is they're. Uh, we met with our driver, they're holding the sign. Usually the guy that's holding the sign, or lady, is the one that's gonna be your driver, apparently. And uh, so he's still up here. What they're trying to do is fill up, there's probably a van, I'm guessing, that they're driving. They're filling that up, and as soon as he gets his filled up, and then he'll come here and get all of us that are sitting here that's on his uh, shuttle. And uh, he said he's gonna give us some history also, we're gonna do a tour, and mm -hmm. we should have a good time. Yeah, we're excited. This is the little booth here. This is weird, driving the steering wheel on the other side, loading up, starting to sprinkle. Doesn't look like it's gonna last though. You guys ready for this? You're in taxi number 19. Yeah, don't forget that, okay? Uh, we leave here, off a Harbor Drive onto North Church Street, then we onto West Bay Road. 
West Bay Road is the road that is parallel with the Seven Mile Beach. Once we get to West Bay Road, we'll start to see all the hotels and the condos. I'll try to point them out to you by name. Then we'll stop and see the governor's house. We can't go into it. Uh. <laughs> 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 she would run us out of there, man. <laughs> Police will take us out. <laughs> Homestead is the house that was built in 1902 and people still live into it. Then we go to Rum Cake, no, to hell. <laughs> and have a hell of a time. <laughs> it wasn't until 1670, during the Treaty of Madrid, that the islands were handed over to the British. From that day until now, we have remained a British colony. Uh, we are located like 90 miles south of Cuba, 180 miles northwest of Jamaica. We have an area of like 100 square miles between the three islands. Population, like here, yeah, 3,000 people. Georgetown, where we are now, is the capital. That's the first cemetery they had in this, in the capital. Who can tell me how many dead people there? All of them Two. are dead. <laughs> This is the future site of the Hyatt Hotel. This is where the Hyatt Hotel gonna be. This building now is the St. Matthew University Resident Hall. They has two campus down here, medical and vet, and that is where some of the OC students live. Behind there we have the coca plum and the grape tree and the Georgetown condominiums. And this is the Queen's Court Shopping Center. Hurricanes are very rare in the Cayman Islands, but they do have the occasional hurricane. The last time that a major hurricane hit Grand Cayman was in 2004. It wasn't history. It was in 2004, Ivan. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ivan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it destroyed Grenada, marched up Jamaica, and then it come and destroy us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it went down into the gulf. You guys have anywhere to hide here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a lot of hurricane shelters, you know, but I, didn't, I never leave my house. I stayed there. It was frightful sometimes, but <laughs> I stayed there. The governor here is the king representative in the, in the English speaking Caribbean countries. Once we remain a British colony, we're going to always have a governor sent here from England. We don't get to vote for our governors like you folks get to do. So the Oshila will come on three years to come, Sometimes it's extended, sometimes it's not. It's a female now. This is the second female governor we had, Miss, Miss John Evans. She just started in April. See the vertical poles? They come from a tree called ironwood. It's the scientific name for it is Longapidella. But we call it ironwood because it's a wood that don't rot. And termites don't eat it. And it don't get water so. Those poles were put there in 1902. And we had those same poles in the four major walls of the house. I like the width of the window. Just leave enough space for the window to set in. Once they were all in position, they went and they cut the finger sized ones and they nailed them high rise, not like the green shutters and the window very close. We called them bottle. Once that was done, they went and they got the limestone rocks and they burned the rocks in the night. And they wouldn't know why they burned them in the night. It's always calmer in the night than it is in the day. And the heat stays with what you're burning better in the night. So you get a better burn job. Boats anchored there. Mm -hmm. They were anchored by the site of a U.S. warship. U.S. Okay. warship is sank there as a dive site. The USS Kittawake. It was decommissioned, and the government here bought it from the U.S. government and put it there as a dive site. The hundreds of people go every day to dive in. You look straight ahead now, you'll see that the sandy beach comes to an end down there. The rest of the shoreline is limestone rocks. Now we're going to hell. <laughs> yeah, we're going down on Town Hall Road, and then we can make a left turn onto Hell Road. The devil hang out, he's right there. I don't know if he's in there, the devil himself, but that's an entrance there. That's an entrance there, but we're going over here to see the rock stones, okay? Okay. Now this, folks, nobody knows when, how this happened, but 
Our first settler here was in 1730, and it was here when he came. We have a lot of limestone rocks, but none that got shaped like this. Mm -hmm. And it's only this spot right here. Mm -hmm. Right behind the bush there is level land like where we stand in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's something special about this spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Is what they use to make to make the brooms to sweep the house out. Uh -huh. Once this is dry, this will get very stiff. Mm -hmm. And they bend it over and then they take um, I forget the type of needle, but they sew it, mm -hmm. keep it apart, mm -hmm. open it up, and then they can sweep and it lasts you the boom lasts you a year and more. And you said you only did it at, on the full moon? Full moon. On the full moon. We only cut this on the full moon. Oh, why is that? The, the moon controls everything. Mm -hmm. But if you cut it on the half moon, like when she, the moon is down there in the evening, you mm -hmm. see it half, it'll rot in six months' time. Really? And if you doubt me, when you go home, you see like the brush, you get a piece of that. Uh -huh. Break a piece of this on the full moon, okay? Uh -huh. And break a piece on the half a moon. And you put them one side and watch them, and you tell me which piece rot the quickest. Really? Yeah, the, uh, half, the, the half moon one, that gonna rot, drop the pieces long before the full moon one. That fruit's called naysberry? But yeah, yeah. You, you have to pick them in the evening because it if like it's getting kiwi. time to rake, and you leave it there, in the morning you won't find it. So, uh, something ate it? The fruit bat's gone with it. Oh, the fruit bats, yeah. yeah. We have a lot of fruit bats here. Oh, really? Really. Some of the guys catch them in the green and cut them up and put them in the fish too. Oh. Steam them, yes, and he did. They say they make you feel like you're 16, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you, you walk in and make you damn the way walking for <laughs> Oh, they make you hallucinate? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> but these are the seeds. See the seeds there? Uh-huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. And what kind of tree is that? Moringa. Moringa. Mm -hmm. You can take that seed egg and eat it. Mm -hmm. I do, uh, eat it. Yeah, it have a lot of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, and all that kind of stuff. You can see them up there, but I, I can't reach them. Oh, wow. Where are you first? <laughs> she she said you first. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'll eat one. No, 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 no problem. Man. You need a lot of water when you eat it, you know. Oh. Do you? Yeah, man. It's it has it like a bitter taste. Oh, okay. Oh, when really? they, when oh, the Indians see this tree, they all flock it. Oh, you peel it off. Yeah, yeah. I was about to eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're home. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something. <laughs> you did? How'd you know that? <laughs> the devil sells t-shirts. They have a t-shirt that says, I've been to my house. I am surprised you didn't have a comeback and say, Honey, I've been living in hell. <laughs> hey. I said I thought it, but I didn't want to say how long. <laughs> Mailing some postcards. Everything you do, they tell you to have a hell of a good day. How the hell are you? A lot of different things. It's hilarious. So, did you have a hell of a good time? I did. Yeah. <laughs> Learned a hell of a lot. That's for sure. Yeah. You know what they are? Aki. Is that the Aki? You hear? You hear? You hear the history of them? No. All right. They, they, they got bad history behind them. Okay. Oh, bad? Yeah, you, if you open, pick it like that and force it open and eat it, it will poison you. Oh. Yeah, very few oh, people survive the poisoning too. Yeah, that's what it's been open Really? You have to leave it on tree and make nature open it. Yeah. Once nature open it, the poisonous gas into it, gone into the atmosphere and you can pick it and eat it the next minute. Oh, so yeah, but don't, yeah, and that's what Jamaica national dish is made from. Uh -huh. I'm surprised they didn't have these all over hell. <laughs> <laughs> now over there is where I understand you can get the sample of the BBD. Of the what? Oh, yeah, BBD, rum. Oh, the yeah. BBD. Yeah, the BBD. He said we can get our sample of the BBD. But <laughs> I think I figured out what that is. Thank you. I am not here for BBD. 
Just to make it clear. Different flavor or a different kind? Take enough cubes. Take What's enough cubes. Mm. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. There's a hurricane. Oh, salute. Salute. <laughs> Did you you already drank it? Oh wow, that's that's good. And that's uh, oh, wow, that's, that's very very good. Oh yeah, please. More please. This is where we just tested the rums and uh, cake, rum cake. Next stop is in here. Right. If you can't find her, just follow the liquor. Banana rum. <laughs> Banana rum. Oh. I have never been served by a, by an officer before. Thank you. That's good. Are you, are you promoting drinking and driving? Chinese fire drill. <laughs> right. Lockers here if you want to swim with the dolphins. Oh, there's one. They're so pretty. Ontario is further south than a lot of Mm -hmm. There's some over there too. Oh, oh here, right here, honey. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Well, we have the alpha male, alpha, the alpha male. He's, he's a sweet dolphin, but he beats up the rest of the dolphin. You see the rest of the dolphin that have marks on them and stuff? Those are from the alpha. These are their nose as a weapon, right? Weapon yeah, they're, they're the tip of their mouth. Yeah. Their nose is on the top of their head. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, the blow yeah. Hole, they blow over there. yeah. Do they have any way of knowing where the walls are other than their eyes? Do they have like some kind of sonar or something? Sonar, yeah. Do they? Oh. It's called a melon. Okay. What? Oh. what? They jumped. Oh, I know. They know where the wall is. They don't have to see. They it, don't right? have to see. Right now, they see. Right now, when they send off sonars, we have a heartbeat. It makes a noise. The, 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 oh know, my God! It's, it clear. sends back. After when they send off the sonars, it bounces back, and it collects yeah. the sound. When it collects the sound, it there's like a tissue in their jaw that collects the sound and puts the image into your brain. So they don't have to see it in order to know what it is. And therefore, they see the rest of our skeletal system, our heart. You can see all of our hearts right now. Everything really? Off, could have speak, they could have tell us which organ is breathing and which is not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they have an x-ray vision. X-ray vision they have. So they can see everything. They don't have to use their eyesight. That's how, that's how they can tell. That's how they can tell which fish is about to approach them and all kind of stuff. They tell if it's a shark, whale, any kind of fish, anything, you know? From wow. miles and miles away. And they execute. Eventually, yeah. when they get it, we breach and we reinforce up a magnitude and then we will put a session. So they have time to then process what they've done and they know, oh, okay, doing this it's gets me a lot, lot of food. Work. Yeah. <laughs> and then they eventually, we use a target stick to then bring them back on the far side. It's easier in here because you can just walk around the perimeter yeah. of the pool. Yeah. But for something like the main lagoon, for example, you can't walk around a little bit. You have to use a long target stick to them guys. And then when they start to do that, we also bridge and reinforce until they end up with that. These guys were aiming at each other. We have the eight dolphins in here. Right now, I believe we have six of them doing it all together. Yeah. Uh, the two other dolphins are our oldest two. They're 40 years old. They're just like, mm, yeah. no. <laughs> no. Leave it for the young ones.
and back to Georgetown. And then we have Bodentown, East End, and North Side. And each one of these districts now you'll find that we have the school, we have the library, we have health clinic, we have uh, police station, we have post office, the things that people need on a daily basis, you know. Now, if you attend the government schools, you're entitled to free education until you graduate from high school here. Besides the government schools, we have seven, I think it is, private schools, which is mostly owned and operated by the churches. We have the Wesleyan Christian Academy School right up the road here, which is operated by the Wesleyan Church. And then we have the Catholic School by the Catholic Church, Prep School by the United Church, and the Edmund School by the Adventist Church, Baptist School by the Baptist Church, Tripacy School by Church of God Chapel, and then we have the Truth for Youth School by the Church of God Universal. During our election, 19 people are successful at the polls. Six out of them are what we refer to as ministers. They work along with the premier, who is the head political leader, with the governor and the deputy governor for the day-to-day -day running of the country. They work out of the government administration building. We refer to those as ministers. You'll find that one of them is responsible for health care, one for tourism, one for works and communication, one for health care, one for finance, one for financial services, and one for internal and external affairs. U.S. carriers come here, American, Delta, United, Southwest, JetBlue. They come say like on a daily basis. And we have our own airline which goes to Los Angeles, Denver, Tampa, New York, Miami, Honduras, Panama, Jamaica and now Barbados. Now if you come back and you go on the east end of the island folks, that is where you can visit the botanical gardens. And that is where you will see the blue iguana. And that's another thing that has not been discovered anywhere else in the world, but in the Cayman Islands. So we are unique for two things, the ironwood tree and the blue iguana. We are lined up here to take you all back. But if you see a small one like this or that, they will leave with you quicker. Okay. Anyone, anyone, six dollars a person. We're at Seven Mile Beach. That's really only about 5.2 miles long. <laughs> but I don't remember why they actually. They rounded us. way up. If we want to go back with him, he's given us about 10, 15 minutes here. But we do have the option of staying longer. Some people are, but then they have to pay yeah. for their own transportation back. coming up here to use the showers to wash our feet off, get the sand off. Can you see the little two of them? Oh, they're cute. They were over here getting water. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hi. Hi. Ship card to get through security. I hope you no one lose that. Once we get through there, you can go in. If you want to go downtown, the town downtown is this way. Okay. A restaurant is on the, the boat called Snappers. That's called the tents. You can see it right there. He was excellent. He was excellent, as you could tell. Very funny. We got three hours left, so we're just gonna walk around here with follow everybody else. They look like they know where they're going. <laughs> look for something to eat, maybe. We can go on the ship and get something for free if we wanted to. Look at all the tarpon.
we just saw another couple walking by and we asked them anything good this way and they said yes this place right over here with the blue doors they said very good selection they did say very good bar though <laughs> it's a bar and grill <laughs> I wonder what selections they're talking about. Yeah. BBD? Fish tacos with snapper. Ooh, I just got a Greek salad. Looks, looks good. good. On our way back to the ship. Have your medallion ready? Oh, this feels so good. Cucumber water? Cucumber water? Sure. Or citrus water? Time to eat, watch some shows, and we'll see you tomorrow in Cozumel. Superstars, overpriced real estate, high speed chases, give it to them, earthquakes, riots, give them, give them something to talk about. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.